Okay, just a quick update for anyone who thinks I fall off the face of the earth. I do actually follow my own advice. I did buy six Alpha Troopers, and then once I found out I got 15% off on order, I went and bought another six Alpha Troopers, and there should be some reflexes in here as well. So I'll crack those guys open. I may have a full party of nothing but Elite Alpha Troopers and see how it works. I'm also going to be using a dart tag test using the old dart tag stuff and maybe peer it out of my collection. Because let's face it, dart tag's kind of old. Let me show you some of the stuff I'm going to be getting rid of. You can see this is some of the stuff I'm going to be testing out to see if it's worth keeping around. I've had some collectors when I told them I had about a half dozen or more of the quick sevens that they went, oh my god, send them to me. The quick 16s not so much and I kind of understand the internal magazine. When I've dealt with it in the past trying to fix one, it was an absolute nightmare. So these may go while they still function in some way. However, these guys, the speed swarms, uh, the swarm fires, they are definitely staying in the collection because the front loaders are awesome to give to casual players. Even the fury fires are good for casual players. I've, had, I've given that to a six year old. He's been able to use that when he couldn't even use the old hyper fire. But in our last bit of news here, or kind of last bit of news, is the AccuStrike line. This is the AccuHawk, I believe. It is a bolt action Spectre, essentially, in a really awesome looking shell. And you see these little like corkscrew almost darts. They're going to try and make them more accurate. And I'm guessing is this the rotating motion is going to make them all the difference. However, knowing Nerf, they're probably going to want, you know, probably like they charge for the Star Wars stuff. It's probably going to be $8 for 12 of these guys. Maybe $5 for 12 of them. Like Elite, but a little more expensive. If they are the replacement for Elite, Elite, <laughs> elite darts, I could live with it. But man, I just don't know. When, if I can actually get this thing to move. <clears throat> I, I'm just not sold on this. Probably for the expense when it first comes out, especially in the bulk that I like to buy it in. There's even other blasters in the line that are coming. There's going to be kind of like a pistol. This is a single shot pistol. It's basically an ion fire that holds two things below. You put them up front and it wants $15 for this so I can live without it. We have some Rebel stuff that probably uses the same dart, but Honestly, I usually buy something to test, and I thought I was going to buy the Star Wars blasters, but I kind of thought that a second about it. $70 for the more expensive ones just for the accessories that I already own, and $50 for the ones just for the num uh, lights. So you will not be seeing any Star Wars reviews for me unless I can just get one on the cheap. So fingers crossed I could do that, but probably not in the meantime. But AccuStrike is probably the only real major improvement we're going to get on Nerf. Hopefully I can get you guys a review on that as soon as it hits and give you my opinion on it. I'm sure a million people will give you their opinion. But that's it. I'm also going to doing a test on dart tag stuff. Everything, like I said, I'm going to be doing it at Westside Baptist Church on one of these Saturdays. If anyone is in the area wants to come in on the test, I need, kind of need to vet you first. You need to give me an email, give me some qualifications so I can talk to you first. And if so, Come join us for free. I'll have you sign a waiver and we'll go to war. I want to do it inside a gym and I'll show you some footage of some of the um, indoor stuff I've done in the past and let me know if you want to join us. Put it in the comments below or heck, just send me an email and we'll take care of it from there. See you guys later.